Real estate attorney and broker, John McConnell here, and we're asking Google Bard the following question. In light of the recent class, class action lawsuits in, in the real estate industry, is there a risk to agents and brokerages if they help a seller sell a home by offering compensation to a buyer's agent? By offering compensation a buyer's agent and then we'll say if so what is it let's see what Google Bard has to say you're right the real estate industry is navigating a period of change due to recent class action lawsuits challenging the traditional real estate structure offering compensations to buyers agents is still generally permission permissible but there are risks and complexities to consider especially in light of these legal developments lawsuits the legality of specific compensation methods is being debated. Some practices, like offering buyer's agents a bonus on top of a standard commission, might be challenged as anti-competitive. Disciplinary action, reputational damage, transparency, compliance. Um, I don't even think Google Bard got this, right? Um, uh, would you reconsider that answer in light of the fact the plaintiff's attorneys, the plaintiff's attorneys in those class action suits have been arguing that it has been an illegal anti-competitive practice. You're correct. I do need to adjust my answer to fully address the argument of the plaintiffs in the class action losses. In light of the ongoing litigation and plaintiffs' arguments that offering compensation to buyer's agents is an illegal and anti-competitive practice, the risks for agents and brokers have arguably increased, even though it may still be generally permissible in some forms. Potential lawsuits. <laughs> Why do you think offering compensation to buyer's agents is generally permissible in light of the 1.7 $1 billion dollar billion dollar lawsuit jury jury one point billion dollar jury verdict against Keller Williams and National Association of Realtors in the Burnett case. You're absolutely right. I apologize if my free answer was confusing. My earlier statement can barely general permissibility of offering compensation to buyer's agents needs clarification in light of the Burnett case and ongoing legal challenges. The $1.7 billion verdict against Kelly Rooms Nationals in the Burnett case doesn't, doesn't definitively establish all forms of buyer's agents' compensation are illegal. However, it raises significant concerns and suggests a, a shift in the legal landscape. Antitrust violations. Specific practices under scrutiny, evolving legal land case. Therefore, it's inaccurate to say offering compensation to buyer's agents is generally permissible, especially considering the current legal environment. Here's a more accurate statement. Offering compensation to buyer's agents carries significant risks in light of the Burnett case and ongoing legal challenges. While it might not be definitively illegal in all forms, specific practices could be deemed anti-competitive and violate antitrust laws, potentially leading to significant legal and financial consequences for agents and brokerages. It's crucial to remember the legal landscape is evolving and seeking legal advice from a real estate specialist is essential to understand the specific risks associated with offering compensation to buyer's agents in your region and with your specific practices. I apologize for any confusion. Now, is it who should a home seller Ask the advice about ask for about advice 
about compensation for buyers about the risks about the risks of compensation for buyers agents from a realtor or an I'm gonna say experienced attorney or a real estate attorney familiar with both the buyer and seller class action suits. Exactly. Okay. So it looks like this is where we should be on this right now. It's saying in light of complex and evolving legal, legal landscape regarding compensation for buyer's agents, both a realtor and a real estate attorney can offer valuable insights for different reasons. This is, this is exactly the breakdown I, I expect we're about to see that I've been seeing in my mind now for a few months. Market trends and practices. Realtors stay updated on local market trends. I, I, I agree. Like I want to know coming in, if I'm a home seller, I would turn to my realtor and say, have you been aware of the, the recent sales in our market? The, the level, you know, what is the market looking like right now? Are we, getting, are we seeing multiple offers? Are prices going up? Are they going down? Is it soft? Uh, low inventory, reasonable turnover, how fast? What's, what's the supply like? How, you know, for instance, you want to know the absorption rate, which is how many homes for sale versus how many homes being sold every month. Um, those are things, you know, how does my home compare to the other ones in the neighborhood? Does it, is it going to show well? Do you think I can ask for more than fair market value? Do I want to offer fair market value in a down market? Do I want to be the best priced home we've seen? I mean, all those are the questions for an experienced real estate professional just to consider listing your home. I would want to find out ahead of time before they even got to my property if my real estate professional, I, I'd want to qualify my, my he or she on their current, how up to date they are in the current market. Now, does that mean it, they have to live next door to you? No. They, you, you might even say, can I call you back? I, I'm going to look that up because I'm going to send it to you so we can discuss it. I mean, that's, that's how I would do it. I, even if I look, like even in my own home and I know what's going on around me, right? Um, I, before I told you what my home was worth right now, I would go see what came on the market in the last week or two. I'd go see what closed in the last week or two because I might not necessarily be aware of what happened last week. So I, I would, and, 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 you know, a little bit of time, understanding what's going on. That's what a realtor is also looking into. Now, I'd also want to know, um, well, all the things realtors do, but with respect to the legal analysis of what's going on, what's the right way to sell my home now? Not the right marketing, not even the right negotiating strategy. Uh, well, actually, no, I think that's implicated now. I think you need to talk to a lawyer about that. And I'll discuss that in future videos. Okay, so um, consulting a real estate attorney. Legal analysis of specific practices. Attorneys can provide comprehensive legal analysis of your specific situation concerning the details of your offer and legal precedents set by cases like Burnett. Risk assessment and mitigation. Attorneys can assess the level of risk, representation in cases of legal challenges. Um, therefore, seeing advice is from both is highly recommended start a consultation with a realtor follow a consultation with a real estate attorney i'd flip it um but nevertheless i think that this is where we're gonna we're gonna start we're gonna we're gonna end it right here um google bard i think right here has done an excellent job um breaking it down right realtors do realtor work the lawyers do lawyer work and I'm going to tell you right now in the next few videos in this series that will eventually be at sellersoptions.com. Maybe you can find it on my YouTube right now. But in this series, I'm going to say that I see the method breaking down like this. Um, realtors and lawyers, it's just natural. They have a right to protect themselves. But you also need them to help you sell your home quickly for the least amount of hassle for top dollar. right? And fundamentally, there's a problem for real estate agents right now. And it, 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 it's affecting me deeply. Like I'm not even, I, I'm using Google Bard to get clarity on this and GPT-4 and talking to other realtors because I want to protect my future, my practice, because I don't even have to be a realtor. I can be a lawyer. And Phil, who works with me, I want to help sellers sell their home to top dollar, but I don't want to be facing un inane lawsuits, internal on and on. And the other thing is, even if it was just me, if I choose to sell a home, yeah, I can put myself on the line. 
I can set up a corporation, which I will, uh, make sure that it's properly functioning and, and properly insured. Um, but in the end, I'm not doing my sellers a service by selling a home under the old model. If my sellers want to move forward after the sale with confidence, and I've discussed why it's a risk in previous videos, but I need to make sure, not just for my own practice, but for my sellers, that we don't sell a home to a buyer who doesn't talk to a real estate lawyer about these issues. And frankly, I'm going to make sure that they're counseled about the right issues. I'm going to ask all of the buyer's attorneys uh, to make sure their clients are counseled on these issues and they signed off on the fact that they have. Then I have more confidence in the selling process and I would personally be able to talk to a class action lawyer or a buyer coming after me or my client. I'm not going to litigate for clients, but I will stand in the way with legal letters saying, your buyer was counseled by an attorney. We made sure that the issue of compensation was handled by that attorney. In fact, and then we'll talk about all the things with respect to compensation happen. Like I'm going to make sure my clients are protected as possible while at the same time being able to can be interested in selling their home for the, for the highest net. So that was a long way to say the following. My home sellers are going to have to be aware of the risks. They may choose to not compensate buyer's agents at all. Um, but I think all my sellers, if you're working with us or someone I've referred to, almost every, all those transactions, we're going to have to make sure that those buyers are represented by an attorney or they've spoken with an attorney uh, and have signed off on a adequate disclosure or disclaimer. Um, that's just the way it's going to have to be until all this shakes out going forward. And in the end, I think that the process that I'm just describing, which I, as I was seeing about this, is going to be called uh, the, the seller's options, because I'm going to put this up at that website. Uh, seller's options, one agent process. Maybe the seller's options, one agent, one attorney. No, we'll just go one. Maybe we'll just say one commission, right? No, I don't know. It'll be the seller's options, one agent uh, listing, uh, home sales method. Seller's options, one agent, home sale method. Um, where... In the beginning, we'll try to sell without bringing in a buyer's agent. But if we need to bring in a buyer's agent, we will. I, in fact, that's the subject of the next video, when and how we're going to do that. All right, so my name is John McConnon. Uh, there will be a series at Seller's Options um, of these videos. Uh, they're not going up yet. You might, I've been talking about winner's check for a long time, but this is Seller's Options. Um, thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.